Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Hope you're having a terrific Taco Tequila Tuesday. Yep, and you're enjoying the holiday. Here's your unemployment update for Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. That's right, it's 420. And if you don't know what holiday it is, it's perfectly okay. Find out why over 300,000 unemployment claimants lost their benefits prematurely. This sucks. Hopefully it'll get fixed. Which state is looking to boost their unemployment system with $36 million in upgrades? Pro you, you could have probably used that money. And the great news of one part of America finally receiving their unemployment benefits after weeks of waiting. I mean, it's so critical. And how to win 1900 bucks after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your mood, your money, your business, and your life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, we're giving away $1,900. Yes, you know, or maybe you don't. If you're brand new, welcome. When we hit 190,000 subscribers as a tradition on this channel, we're launching $1,900 cash from my account to hopefully yours. All you gotta do, like, subscribe, and comment. We're gonna pick a random comment, and it's gonna go out $1,900 to that person who gets picked. So if you put a couple comments in, then you'll have a better chance to win. Also, if you don't see highlighted and a check mark for my name, Andrew Cartwright, highlighted with a check mark, that's probably not me. So make sure you watch out for those spammers. And also down below in the description, there's a Weeble link where you can get two stocks for free, 1,850 bucks up to when you deposit 100 bucks, it the only catch is it's a limited time offer. Thanks to my patrons, and don't miss out on the real estate program. Thousand dollar program for 100 bucks, 99 dollars right now, with the code of boom. I spent like 45 million dollars in mistakes learning, and it's 36 videos that just crush it. Everything you need to know about real estate. If yeah, it's crazy. It's a master's in real estate. But first, a recent report from the California Policy Lab found that more than 300,000 Americans in 33 states were prematurely cut off from extended benefits. Yes, that EB. They explained, quote, in some states, up to 30% of the people receiving unemployment insurance benefits are losing access to state extended benefits because of how employment levels are currently measured. They're like, oh, this sucks. We're doing better, people are getting hired, so we're getting cut off. They also said, quote, when a large share of unemployment workers transition from regular UI to extended programs, EB can mechanically trigger off when the total number of UI claimants remain unchanged or is increasing, end quote. They found that, quote, since the fall of 2020, this has resulted in the termination of EB extended ben extensions in 33 states and territories despite elevated or even increasing long-term unemployment, end quote. And you're like, wait a minute, this makes a lot of sense. I was wondering what happened. The study closed by stating, quote, there may also be a scope to expand the maximum duration of EB beyond 20 weeks when certain conditions are automatically met as well as potential to tied benefit level supplements to automatically economic triggers, quote, end quote. That means if your state is going up, your, your employment numbers are going up and your unemployment numbers are going down, then the economic stabilizer that's supposed to be there to protect the economy, they pull those funds. I guess they figure you could probably go get a job. I think it's kind of cruel, right? terrible. Why should another state get the benefit? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Hopefully the necessary changes can be made to ensure that anyone looking to transition from UI to EB unemployment benefits can do so without losing their vital funds going from the unemployment insurance to the extended benefits that are the federal program. So hopefully that'll get fixed. Meanwhile, the great state of Florida is looking to make big changes in their state unemployment system, seeking massive upgrades to the tune of $36 million, which in the uh, tech world is not a lot of money. However, lawmakers are currently split over either using the funds to resolve millions of existing claims or upgrade the broken unemployment system that has been a nightmare for millions of Floridians. Yes, we've heard it over and over again from Florida. It's been one of those sticky points like California and 
other states like Hawaii that just were like, whoa, right? Representative Jay Wilson said to the discussion on whether to spend the new unemployment funds, quote, they want it in one spot, we want it in another, apparently. Uh, according to Miami Herald, quote, the Senate is proposing $2 million for a third party assessment before immediately jumping into the new upgrade, which could cost up to $244 million, right? Hold your breath there. Hopefully they can put these millions of dollars to good use, helping unemployment claimants and upgrading their systems. And I've heard from so many of you guys in Florida, your comments, you're struggling with the unemployment system benefits and the Sunshine State. Oh, it's been so tough for you guys. And we've heard it, we've seen it, we've talked about it, we've dialogued about it, we've cried about it, we've been frustrated about it. It just sucks. Either way, the system's got to be upgraded to get you your funds. Finally, the great folks over at Washington, D.C. will finally receive their long-awaited unemployment benefits following a glitch that left claimants stranded for weeks without funds. They just didn't get anything. Upward of 2,500 unemployment claims recently had their benefits interrupting during the month of March, and it had nothing to do with March Madness. Nothing to do with basketball, although, you know, that would have been a good excuse. Well, probably not a good excuse, but will be paid out beginning today. Yes, today, according to the Department of Employment Services, those dose, 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 I think a doge coin, 400% increase right now. I don't know if you haven't seen it yet. It is on fire. Doze director, unique more, um, Hey, uh, Hughes, I should know that because Howard Hughes, explained, quote, before 2000 and 2,500 people were affected by the delay and the payments would resume this week with those who continue to file weekly cert certified unemployment or email and have cleared all of the eligibility factors, end quote. He also stated, quote, problems caused by the latest round of updates, updates, impact claimants whose year-long benefits had expired but were set to restart under the new federal relief law, end quote, meaning EB, extended, right? So it's same problem, different state. I'm so glad to hear, though, that they're finally fixing the unemployment glitch, and I hope that everyone out there in D.C. Uh, can get their claimed unemployment benefits that they deserve without any issues and uh, can get the support they need in Washington, D.C. If you still haven't applied for your unemployment assistance, reward yourself today, 420, treat yourself, um, and apply today. Simply check the state's PUA and UI website. There are a lot of times two different websites, Pandemic Unemployment Insurance and UI. One is for self-employed and one is for people who are employed and paid into the system. Show them your employment history and your ID and fill out the application genuinely and for the best of your ability. Given the condition of 420, do the best you can. But be honest and truthful. Don't make stuff up. Answer the questions, and you could receive a backdated check of twenty, twenty-two thousand dollars $22,000. Again, if you were self-employed, don't say that you paid into the system. You'll catch the bureaucracy. Some people have caught it. It's lasted over a year. So if you're a gig worker, you're self-employed, independent contractor, 1099, volunteer, side hustle, freelance, the government put a program together just for you. It's called the PUA program, and you can get these amazing benefits through that program, the PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Insurance. It's, hor it's horrible. It's a horrible name. Let's just face it, because it, it makes you feel like you don't deserve it because you weren't employed, right? But please keep sharing your, un your PUA experience so that people in our audience can see that you actually got it. So if you got it, say, I got it. I got the PUA. So other people can go, what's... What's the PUA? Is that something I caught? No, it's something you get, like $20,000 if you were unemployed and didn't collect this money, you can still collect it. Thank you, for, thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care of yourself. I love you.